Hello, and welcome to another fascinating episode on a very exciting news. While the Hubble telescope plays the damsel in distress, NASA seems to have lost its space chauvinism. Now you would think that NASA would call in the Avengers, or at least the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? But nope. Instead, they've given SpaceX the cold shoulder. Elon Musk, our favorite space cowboy, probably sent them a DM like, Hey NASA, can I borrow your Hubble for a weekend joyride? I promise not to scratch it. But NASA's like, nah, we're good. We'll stick to our old school methods. You know, like sending Morse code via carrier pigeons. So, why the rejection? Did NASA and SpaceX have a fallout? Has NASA actually given up on Hubble, or is it up to something else? Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's unravel the cosmic conspiracy together. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990, has provided stunning cosmic views for over three decades. Astronauts corrected a flaw in its mirror during a 1993 mission, enabling Hubble to contribute to groundbreaking discoveries such as confirming the universe's accelerating expansion and finding supermassive black holes at the center of most galaxies. Some recounted his childhood experience of witnessing Hubble's rescue mission aboard the shuttle Discovery as follows. I saw the Christmas 1999 launch of Discovery as a kid. The evening before planning to visit NASA, we were driving to a hotel close by when some guy stopped her car and pointed out a giant fireball in the sky. Right after the sound hit, it was awesome. After 34 years in orbit, Hubble is aging and its problems are increasing. Recently, its gyroscopes, which help point the telescope accurately, have been malfunctioning. On May 24th, one of Hubble's three gyroscopes gave faulty telemetry readings, causing the telescope to enter safe mode, according to NASA. This issue follows similar problems with its gyroscopes in November and April. Although the Hubble team managed to get the telescope back to work on April 29th, the fix was temporary. NASA is now implementing a new recovery plan to keep Hubble operational into the 2030s. The plan includes switching to backup systems and developing new software to manage gyroscope failures. Meanwhile, SpaceX and NASA are exploring a potential servicing mission to extend Hubble's lifespan further. This would not only save the iconic telescope, but also continue the legacy of significant scientific contributions. NASA's hesitation to extend the Hubble Space Telescope's life took an interesting twist with a proposal from billionaire Jared Isaacman, commander of the 2022 Polaris Dawn mission. Isaacman suggested partnering with SpaceX to boost and service Hubble using the Dragon spacecraft and a future Polaris commercial spacewalk. Despite the ambitious nature of this plan, NASA officials expressed concerns due to the crew's limited experience and a lack of a robotic arm on Dragon to grasp Hubble. Unlike shuttle missions, which allowed astronauts a week to work on Hubble, Dragon missions lack this capability. These challenges are significant, but not insurmountable. SpaceX has previously demonstrated its ability to innovate, and with advancements in robotics and space mission planning, there could still be hope for Hubble's continued operation. The proposal has sparked renewed interest and discussion about the future of this iconic telescope. Another promising idea has emerged for extending the life of the Hubble Space Telescope using SpaceX's developing Starship launch vehicle. Starship could be redesigned for sophisticated space missions and allow more time to develop advanced EVA suits. One intriguing proposal suggests equipping Starship with a version of the legendary Canadian robotic arm instrumental in past Hubble servicing missions. These robotic arms, used on space shuttle orbiters, were crucial for deploying, maneuvering, and capturing payloads including the careful retrieval and mounting of the Hubble telescope. Proponents argue that a robotic mission using Starship could be more cost-effective than previous shuttle missions thanks to Starship's low launch costs. With its massive volume and payload capacity, integrating a robotic arm and other necessary fittings from the space shuttles could be feasible. However, Analysts caution that retrofitting a cargo bay door to Starship could be challenging as the arm's length requires a large door for deployment. This might favor the cargo variant of Starship. 
Additionally, replicating the intricate control systems and interfaces from the shuttle orbiter could prove difficult, sparking debates over whether to refurbish existing robotic arms or commission a new design. Despite these challenges, the potential for Starship to carry out a Hubble servicing mission is exciting. SpaceX has a track record of overcoming significant technical hurdles and their innovative approach could make this mission a reality. This year has already proved immensely successful for SpaceX with the successful launch of Flight 4 and the elimination of all potential obstacles that impeded their multiple flights model of rockets. The potential to combine SpaceX's Starship with advanced Canadian robotics offers an exciting solution for space exploration and maintenance. This approach could minimize risks for astronauts and significantly reduce costs, potentially extending Hubble's life well beyond 2030. Unfortunately, NASA has rejected this promising proposal. Our position right now is that after exploring our current commercial capabilities, we're not going to pursue a reboost, stated Mark Clampin, director of NASA's Astrophysics Division. NASA conducted a feasibility study but declined to release it for proprietary reasons. Clampin explained that the study helped identify issues and challenges such as adding gyroscopes to the outside of the telescope, but these were only notional concepts. NASA has decided it's safer to let Hubble age naturally rather than risk private sector intervention. As a result, NASA will soon reduce Hubble's operations to rely on just one gyroscope. Gyroscopes are essential for moving the telescope from target to target and locking on with rock-solid stability for detailed observations, making them crucial to Hubble's longevity and functionality. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched with six ultra-stable gyroscopes, although only three are needed for normal operations. During the final servicing mission in 2009, all six gyroscopes were replaced. Three of these new units had components prone to corrosion, while the other three featured an improved design that greatly reduced this risk. By Hubble's 30th anniversary in 2020, all three ultra model gyroscopes had failed. One of the remaining three, gyroscope number three, began to malfunction earlier with its performance deteriorating over time. Anticipating gyroscope failures, engineers developed software enabling Hubble to operate with just two or even one gyroscope. However, with fewer gyroscopes, the telescope's ability to reach targets is reduced to about half the sky at any given time compared to 85% or more with all three gyroscopes. Despite this limitation, operating with two gyroscopes is more efficient. Engineers concluded it made sense to put one of the two remaining healthy units in standby mode and operate Hubble with just one gyroscope, keeping the other in reserve. Our team first developed a plan for one gyro operation over 20 years ago, and it's the best mode to prolong Hubble's life, an engineer explained. Although there are limitations, such as increased time to move between targets and reduced efficiency in scheduling observations, this plan will help extend Hubble's operational life. Currently, Hubble schedules about 85 orbits a week. With one gyroscope, this will drop to about 74 units, a 12% reduction in scheduling efficiency. Additionally, the telescope's movement in single gyroscope mode is less precise, limiting flexibility in observing the sky. However, over a year, Hubble will still be able to access the full sky. One limitation of operating Hubble with a single gyroscope is the inability to lock onto and track targets closer than Mars's orbit, although such observations were rare even with three gyroscopes. Engineers plan to implement the one gyroscope control mode soon, aiming to return Hubble to science operations by mid-month. We updated reliability assessments for the gyros and concluded that we have greater than a 70% probability of operating at least one gyro through 2035, said Krause. Despite this, NASA faces another challenge, orbital decay. All objects in low Earth orbit gradually descend, eventually re-entering the atmosphere. Hubble orbits at about 326 miles or 525 kilometers above Earth, higher than the International Space Station, which boosts its orbit monthly to avoid atmospheric drag. Hubble's orbit decays by several miles each year. If this decay worsens, Hubble will eventually burn up, likely being guided to break up over the Pacific Ocean. 
operators don't expect Hubble to re-enter Earth's atmosphere before the mid-2030s. Combined with gyroscope limitations, this sets a firm boundary on Hubble's remaining operational lifespan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, don't forget to hit the like button, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, see you all later.